Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be a tarot forecast for the week of April the 2nd through to the 9th. And... Or through to the 8th, sorry about that. <laughs> wow, it's been a long day, and it's still early. <laughs> Uh, Taurus, I would like to wish all of you a happy Easter Keister weekend. I hope you have a wonderful time this weekend. Spend some good times with family, with friends, and have some good eats. <laughs> anyway, I shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright position. Followed then by Major Arcana of the Sun, reversed. Followed by the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Followed then by the Ace of Cups, upright. And lastly, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. Okay, first of all, Taurus, you have the Seven of Cups as your overall energy in the upright. This is good. Good news. This is all about having options and opportunities. And don't we all love options and opportunities? However... When it comes to the Seven of Cups energy, you sometimes have to watch because not all of the options are actually um, viable. Some of them are more realistic than others. Uh, also, too, this can be a little bit of confusing energy where um, sometimes when there's too many options, we just don't know what to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's definitely good news to have the options as your overall energy. Now, coming into the week, um, you have Major Arcana of the Sun in the reverse position. The Sun upright, this is all about, um, you know, attainment, uh, success, and, and feeling very vibrant and, um, and alive and vivacious and all that other stuff. When it's inverted like this, sometimes this can represent uh, maybe you're just not feeling on top of your game right now. Taurus, maybe you're just feeling a little bit... Um, uh, maybe unsuccessful in some area. Maybe you tried to uh, do something and it didn't work out and so you're kind of feeling a little bit bummed. For others of you, this could just simply represent a lack of vitality. Maybe you're not, like this is Aries season right now. It's the last sign before it moves into Taurus and sometimes that can kind of put us in a little bit of hermit mode because we um, have less vitality in uh, when the sun's transiting our our 12th house. So it could be for some of you, maybe that's all it is. Maybe you just don't have the vitality that you know you would like to have at this time. Now the sun reverse is paired with the 10 of swords in the reverse position. 10 of swords upright. This is about um, sort of like the last straw where uh, it can represent sometimes um, too many uh, uh it could be with one particular situation in general where it's sort of like the last straw where we, we don't want to deal with that person anymore sometimes this will come up in a relationship where there's constant conflict going on constant betrayal and so forth and so forth <clears throat> however when it's inverted like this we're sort of healing from that energy maybe um some of you, this is, has happened in the past, can be playing out for some of you in, in the workplace. Maybe you just sort of hit the last straw or hit rock bottom in your work situation and you decided that, you know, no more of this, you're healing from this energy. Or uh, for others of you, could be playing out in a relationship and so forth. In any uh, case, you are healing. Maybe that's why your vitality is low right now. You could be in a place of healing at this time when we first come into the week. But things change up quite a bit towards the weekend of the 7th. And you have the Ace of Cups in the upright position. <laughs> this is really nice. I remember um, last year when I was doing uh, Taurus readings during Taurus season, this card kept coming up for you guys. It was upright, and it was reversed, and it was upright again. But here it is again. <laughs> here it is again. <laughs> Ace of Cups is lovely energy. This is really, really nice. This is all about um, a potential for emotional fulfillment. Sometimes this can represent um, an opportunity coming for any of you looking for a relationship or looking for love. It could be that there is an opportunity coming up this weekend for you guys to, there's potential there maybe to meet someone new. And uh, maybe, you know, start something that could lead into a, a great love affair. 
for others of you this could be playing out on in a creative sense maybe if you're in the arts or anything like that maybe there's an opportunity coming towards you uh, to do something creative maybe something you've always wanted the universe is offering you something really nice that's going to make you feel good on the emotional front and the last card you have in the read here is the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is your own energy, uh, Taurus, because this is Earth. It's a court card, so it could be representing another person. If it is, it's Earth sign, Taurus like yourself, or that of Virgo or Capricorn. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, this person could be playing a pivotal role for you. Maybe some of you find love with another Earth sign. Um, for others of you, this could be representing a boss or... Um, or a, a banker, if say, or a real estate agent or something like that. This is good news, uh, no matter how you look at it, because uh, even if it's your own energy, Taurus, you're looking pretty good come towards the end of the week. You're feeling very stable and very much in your own power. If this is someone else you're dealing with, it could be that this person, if you've applied, say, for a loan or a, a car loan or a house loan or something like that, it could be that there's... Um, this if this is representing a banker it could be that you know this is a yes you will get what you ask for for others of you this could be representing your boss maybe he's giving you a raise um, maybe he's giving you a, a creative project to work on um, definitely a good reading here it looks like whatever uh, is going on in the beginning of the week things change up towards the weekend so it's looking much better towards the weekend your vitality will come back like I said if some of you are suffering from low vitality it could just be if it's not due to outside circumstances it could just be due to the fact that the Sun is now transiting your 12th house in Aries right now and which means your vitality will come full force once at the end of the month once the Sun moves into Taurus so I hope this reading helped you Taurus if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise I will see you guys next week have a good one bye for now